Hi Redbirds, I'm Jenny. I'm a junior interpersonal communication major with a cinema studies minor and I studied abroad about two years ago in Rome, Italy at Lorenzo di Medici Institute and it was absolutely amazing so I'm here to tell you a little bit about it and why I chose my site. So when you decide to go to Italy you can go to three different choose from three different campuses. So there's the Florence campus, the Rome campus, and the Toscana campus. So I chose Rome actually just because I had never been to Italy before and Rome was the city out of those that I had heard the most about. So I thought it would be the most familiar to be able to get used to because I was kind of aware of what was going to be there like history wise and I would be able to adjust to that easier than a completely foreign place to me. So I chose Rome and when I got there um it was very urban, melded with history, which was really, really cool. Um, my campus wasn't really a campus like we have here. Um, we have a lot more space. We were in a city there, so they didn't have as much space, obviously, for a campus like we have here in Bloomington Normal. Um, my campus was actually in one building on one floor, um, and that was all we needed. They had... Um, a library with computers and books accessible to us for any research that we needed to do for our classes. Um, there were classrooms, obviously, um, and little common areas, and that was really all there was to our campus, but our campus made it feel um, like home because it's a smaller group of people since it's a smaller place um, that the smaller place that people can be housed, I guess, um, for classes. Um, my classes, actually, I took one class that was called Palaces of Rome, and it actually was not spent much time in the school, which was kind of cool. I got to go on field trips almost every other day um, to these sites where I learned about everything there was to know about the structures and who lived there at one point and all these different things with palaces and churches and it was incredible. So um, my classroom experience was really hands-on um, learning in those sites which is really really awesome. Um, I also got to um, do extracurriculars with my school. Uh, they had extra things that we could do um, so they had a wine tasting class for us, they had a gelato tasting for us, they had an Italian folk dancing class for us. Um, they took us actually to um, the Tuscany campus, um, so we got to see that campus as well, which was really cool. It was very different from the campus that we were used to because it's more in the countryside. Um, and they just had fun little things like that for us, so if we didn't feel like going out in the city for the day, which honestly was an awesome thing to be able to do every day. Um, if for some reason we were just feeling like we wanted to stay closer to school, they had programs for us nearly every day um, while we were there on our program, which was really, really awesome. Um, the faculty and staff that were there were really great. Um, they were either native Italians or my teacher was actually um, Italian and German. So um, she was raised in Germany, but she's fluent in Italian, and she was really, really cool. And I had a nice little connection with her because I knew German and I took it in high school. So um, just because the campus was smaller than um, what we have here, I did not feel like I missed out on anything. Um, it was an awesome experience, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So I hope those of you that are looking into Rome or really just any study abroad programs, uh, find one that works great for you and you love your experience like I did and get to tell people about it like I do now. So I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Go Redfords.